Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to show you how to create a reverse proxy to a FreeBSD machine using an FRP client, Fast Reverse Proxy. And along with it I'm going to show you how to use Copy Party to copy files to or out of the machine. In the picture you see on the screen, you can see here that I've uh, drawn a cloud. This means I have a FreeBSD machine that is currently running in AWS. And uh, you see the FRP client, and you can see that the firewall is configured to block incoming traffic, but the firewall does allow outgoing traffic. Also, in my home network, I have an internet access point, and the laptop that I'm using is a macOS, which is currently in my local area network. To get a connection to the FreeBSD machine, I'm going to run an FRP server, the Fast Reverse Proxy server, on my macOS laptop, this is going to open a port 4444 and in my internet access point I need to expose the port 4444 to the public IP address. I'm not going to show you how to do this configuration but you can figure out for your own system. Once this port is exposed, outgoing traffic from the FreeBSD machine can connect to the port 4444. Therefore, we need to configure this client and uh, start the client to go and to connect to this port. Once this is done and the client connects to the server, you can have traffic here, which I draw with a gray color and basically goes from the Mac to the FreeBSD machine. The connection on the FreeBSD machine is going to be done with the FRPC for client.ini. has a common uh, section showing the server address, which is going to be my public IP address, the server port, which is uh, exposed with the 4444, uh, I put a token here, which I just say, okay, I like free beer. Is whatever you can choose, whatever token you want for added security. Okay, with the magic of video editing, I just fixed the configuration file. So continuing what I was about to say, I um, I add a configuration reverse HTTP, which says uh, local IP address. So it means that when you get an HT uh, HTTP traffic, it forwards to the local IP address that we know 127.0.0.1 and to a service running on the local port 8000. And it exposes this on the remote port, uh, port on the server side on port 8080. Basically, we need to run copy party on port 8000. On the server side, we create a file FRP s for server.ini and it has a common section that says it binds to port 4444 which is the one that is exposed to the public and uh, you configure also the token all right let's create the local file here which is uh, on my system frps.ini we create the section common and we say bind port port equals to 4444 and we say token equals I like free beer. Don't forget that to install uh, the FRPS you need to uh, on Mac brew install FRPS. I'm not going to run this as I've done it previously and it's installed. So let's check it FRPS dash dash help. Yes it's installed. Now here you see the serial console of a machine running in AWS and in this machine, I'm going to create a directory video. And now I'm going to create a file frpc.ini. So vim frpc.ini. And this file is going to have the common section. And it's going to, uh, I'm going to write server address equals to my IP address, the server port. It's going to be 4444 and the token is going to be I like free beer. As I said before, we're going to have a reverse HTTP section stating that local IP is going to connect. So we're going to forward to local host, local port 8000 and the remote port is going to be 8080. All right. Now, another thing we need to do is to get copy party. Now, to get the copy party, we can just simply do fetch on this URL. All right. After fetching the binary, we can just run it with Python 3 copy party 
on port 8000. Let's give it an N% percent so that it goes to the background. All right, and it basically starts. And as you can see here, it starts on port 8000. We need now to start the server. So for that, I go back to my laptop and I run frps configuration file frps.ini. All right, so it's now running. Let's go back to the FreeBSD machine and let's start the client frpc configuration frpc.ini. And this is all that we need to do. As we can see, we have login server success. So let's try to go to localhost port 8080. And as you can see, we are basically accessing our FreeBSD remote system. From here, we can upload and download additional files and we can also expose additional services. How cool is that? All right, so that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or suggestions, please use the space down below. Otherwise, I wish you have a pleasant day, a nice day. Take care. See you next time and bye bye.